Well, good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Allie Potter. Tucson police are investigating a suspicious item on the east side. We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you an update on the Bighorn fire. Now to the latest coronavirus numbers, but before we get into that, the Pima County Health Department is encouraging you to get tested. The U of A police say these stats are important. They help address concerns about crime and keep students and the public safe. Several states from Texas to California are expected to report the hottest temperatures of the summer. The body of the third person found in the Nogales wash this weekend has been identified. Santa Cruz County sheriffs say 30 year old Jose Ostre Berta Lopez Rio was washed away during the monsoon. So let me set the stage for you. JR Kobe is in the Air Force and was deployed to Kuwait. Let's talk about school supplies. Thousands of kids drove away with them at the 9th Annual Kids Expo. Different advisories are now taking place as well. So it's not just hot in Arizona, but really all over the country. 16 year old Martin is your typical teenager. He goes to Sunnyside High School, has a lot of friends and loves LeBron James. But his life changed forever on December 16th. You thought 2020 couldn't get any more wild. Well, Kanye West announced on Twitter yesterday he's running for president. Now, Marissa, I was over there yesterday at the base of Mount Lemmon. You couldn't really smell anything. You couldn't really see anything from the base. Do you know exactly where the fire is right now and where it's heading? This is absolutely gorgeous. I know you said that I can touch it, but I'm way too afraid. Yeah. It is definitely fragile. Why did you choose this piece to show off? Just for the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show, I just had to put on a little bit of bling. The memorial service will be a really good representation of John McCain's passions. So that's his family, his friends, support for others, and of course, sports. So firefighters have those calendars, but guess what? So do these canine officers. Come to Tonight, it's going to be a big show in the sky. Yes, it is. 969 shells going up in the air tonight. You know, it's a perfectly fine helicopter or airplane. So why jump out of it? It's not hot enough to cook anything outside. Well, that's like a, if you want to, you know, that's, that's a good, good news. <laughs> if you enjoy today, you're going to love the rest of the week. We got 0.8 inches of rain today, wow. actually. So we broke records yesterday. Today we didn't break any, but the rain will continue a little bit during the evening hours. And last Saturday night, FC Tucson played their first home match in front of nobody. But tonight there was a sporting event here in Tucson with spectators. I see a lot of smoke activity happening. It's because of this fire right here. Again, 10% containment, 2,500 acres. This fire is literally in their backyard, so they are planning for the worst and hoping for the best. This is a little girl that is fighting for her life. It's an outcome no family ever wants to hear. The skeletal remains that were found last week here in the desert in picture rocks had been identified as Sarah Galloway. But if you want to kind of make it a positive spin, the neighbors have all come together to help each other out. The high pressure system has moved out of the way, so we're going to see some cooler temperatures, but it's this low pressure system that is definitely trying to bring us that rain because of this low pressure system, and that's definitely blocking out those warmer temperatures. I will say I don't think we're going to see those triple digits anytime soon this week. I just arrived around five minutes ago, and luckily, I was able to catch up with the sergeant as he was leaving the scene. He did say that details are very slim at the moment, but what he did tell me is that this is considered a suspicious death. In order to make sure that that happens, staff here at the university are coming up with a game plan to make sure these wildcats come back here to campus safely. Well, Angelique, first of all, just be thankful you're not outside because this wind is absolutely awful. However, the malls are reopening and that is something to be excited about. It was quite the arrival here in Nogales. Around 3 o'clock Thursday afternoon, Vice President Mike Pence arrived via Blackhawk, ready to tackle border issues. You know what's going to spark joy though? Not the allergies no. today. This graphic is not going to spark any type of joy. Nope. If anything, it's going to just make you <laughs> sneeze. Mm -hmm. Something to perk up your Tuesday. It's definitely feeling like a Monday here in the studios, but we hope that you are having a wonderful morning, so it is going to get hot. But you know what I'm also a fan of? Our road runners, and that's why we have Dusty just sliding by. 